Godan Dain and welcome to the Iceland Food Center. We are continuing our Christmas baking and we are going to be making presidential cookies or Bessasta cookies. You are going to need flour, butter, sugar, icing sugar, an egg, and some demer, demer, derem, uh, coarse sugar. You, you'll need some coarse sugar and a few almonds. First thing we need to do is to clarify some butter. And that is surprisingly easy to... Uh, all right. Easy to do. All you have to do is melt it down under low heat. You can also probably use ghee, but it's nuttier and imparts more flavor. Allow the butter to melt down slowly until the milk solids, the white parts, become separate. And then the next thing to do is of course to cool it down. But in Iceland, there's no need for a fridge. That's it. Bye bye, see you tomorrow. Now that the butter is set, it's time to break it apart. I used a butter knife. The next thing to do is to separate the rest of the milk solids from the bottom. Quite a lot of this got left in the pot, so I'm just gonna scrape off whatever's left over and I'll try and be quick about it so it doesn't melt in my hands. We are now going to move on to the dry ingredients. That's 250 grams of flour, 125 grams of icing sugar, and 125 grams of granulated sugar. You might be thinking, well, that's a lot of sugar, and you'd be right. Next up is to prepare our butter slices. All you have to do is chop them up in fairly large pieces. This is not fast motion, by the way, I'm just so quick. Cha cha cha! Really, honestly. Now that we've gone all last samurai on our butter, it's time to make sure our dry ingredients are all well mixed. And we're just about to get into the needy part of the whole thing. Cover the pieces of butter, making sure they're all well coated in the dry mixture, because now you're gonna start kneading it all together. If you have it, I definitely recommend using a dough hook right here. Doughs that contain this much butter can start to get overly wet if you work it too long with your hands. So with no time to spare, I continue kneading and mixing and kneading and mixing until I have a nice homogeneous mass. At which point I separate it in two and roll it out to a little sausage. A good size for this roll is about the size of a quarter or two and a half centimeter. But like with so many things in life, the size isn't always the most important thing. Now instead of putting all the pieces to one side like I did, you can of course put them straight onto your baking sheet. The next thing on our agenda is the toppings. That's these almonds. We're just gonna chop them down to some rustic nice little pieces. You can of course buy them ready sliced or ready crumbled, but I like them uh, variable sizes. Now let's just prepare a quick egg wash. If you've done the last recipe, Lakris Topar, then you should have some yolk left over and you can just use that instead. And hey, see that subscribe button down there? Don't click it. I mean, you wouldn't want to tell everyone about this channel, would you? This is our secret. But enough of that, let's get our toppings on. Now that it's all been magically laid out in front of me, it's time to put that egg wash on. That's then gonna be followed by the Deremara sugar, and then some almonds. Yeah, that's, uh, that's more sugar on top there. So now all you gotta do is repeat that for all your little cookies. At this point, it might be a good idea to recruit some little ones from the household, or some bigger ones, and you can reward them afterwards with some delicious cookies. Once you finish that, it is time to stick it into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 356 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 minutes. Mmm. Are you ready for this? Oh, I'm ready for this. These little bite-sized cookies are an absolute delight. These deliciously sweet cookies have been served at Bessastadir, the presidential residency even before we had a president. And they've now become a holiday delight. The buttery dough, the almonds on top, the crispy sugar, it all comes together to form a nice little hard biscuity cookie. Now what are you waiting for? Go and make your own and let us know what you think. We are on Instagram and TikTok and have our website icelandfoodcenter.com And as always, verðekur að góðu!